today we're going to be talking about sets of numbers. So, in the previous video we talked about sets, so today we're going to be talking about sets of numbers. So, think of every number in the entire universe, right? We categorize these numbers. So, first category is the real numbers and we have this double line to differentiate it with some just a normal R so real numbers real numbers are things like 1, 2, 3 but they also can be things like 3.33 3, 3. that can be pi they can be 1 third it could be negative numbers, negative pi, roots, the list goes on, there's, there's absolutely, it just contains all, everything, right, so of that we have the natural numbers, and the natural numbers are things that you use to count, so one, two, three, four, one third is not here. No. Pi is not here. Negative numbers isn't here. Zero is not here. This is one, two, three, four, continuing on to infinity. Right? That's what th this is. And this is called the natural numbers. So now, here we have integers. So integers are with a z. They have this double stroke thing going on as well. And they can be positive whole numbers or negative whole numbers. And it does include zero this time. So it could be could be really this is huge amount of numbers in, in the integers. We have 0, we have 1, we have 2, but we also have negative 1 and negative 2 and so on in each direction. Right, that's integers. Then we have rational numbers. So this is Q, and we have another double stroke thing going on here, and Q are numbers that can be represented as some sort of fraction, so things like one third, uh, things like a quarter, uh, numbers themselves just over one. It does not include things like root 2 over 1. That's not rational. Then the reason why is because if you were to define this set, it is defined that all it is is that any number that can be represented by a divided by b, where a and B are elements of integers. So A and B are elements of the integer set. Right? Okay. Then what about irrational? So irrational is again Q but we have that little flick at the end, not Q. That's irrational. So these are things like root 2, pi, um, thi, etc. Well, the first question that I had when I learned this was, well, what about numbers like 1.0? zero to one recurring 
or zero point or etc. Well, you can actually represent these as a rational number, and I'm going to show it to you now. So, first thing that we want to do is let x equal this number q1 recurring and then we're going to times it in such a way that these last digits here actually appear so it's going to be 21.021 now recurring and then we're going to we recognize that this is just zero point it's just continues the pattern it's so now zero two one zero two one etc right so we can rewrite this as 21 plus x and that's equal to 100x and we can subtract x from both sides so we have 99 x equals 21 and then we divide by both sides and we get 21 over 99 and that we can simplify even more actually so that's 7 over 33 and that's our decimal there it's the same as what we originally had here to one recurring the exact same you can try this on a calculator it works right so that's all I have time for in for today for this topic so I'm going so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me on social media or in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.